What we do at the Action Center each week is we, we try to create a home so that when you have to come and get food to feed your kids every day, you don't feel like you're less than a man or you're less than a woman. You feel like you're coming to family. Because everybody that's out here are people who have the same needs, same, same desires for their family as you do. And what people will say and they'll tell you is they look forward to coming here. You set another plate on the table, you put a chair down so you can sit down and you can relax, so you can have fun among people who love you, and so we can send you on your way strengthened, not just physically with the food, but emotionally with the love that we all share here. The Action Center is an educational and empowering station. It gets our young people off the street, it gives hope to the young adults. We have different programs. We have a Zumba class on Saturdays. We have a cooking class on Saturdays. It's impacted my life by uh, giving me the tools and the knowledge to actually want to learn and grow more within myself. This place is amazing. Anyone who comes to be safe. Having people to rely on. That rely on you, that you can rely on them. The Action Center is uh, family. Right. Um, my name is Lamine and I'm, I live in Farakway. Um, I'm currently a freshman in Beast Channel High School. And I like to come and volunteer at the Action Center because I like to work with people and to make my community a better place. For so long, poverty and the way the poor are treated it has been an invisible problem. It's invisible as long as there's no light shown on it. And prior to Sandy, there really wasn't a lot of light shown on it here. Sandy brought this community together. This community was a little broken, but through Sandy, people found their strength. They found their hope. My name is Tyree Cowell. I'm a program coordinator for the Action Center. Ms. Doe and Mr. Doe, they changed my life in a totally humongous way. They gave me an opportunity that a lot of people probably want to give a guy like me. The community center is my home. It should keep me focused just to be here in the center and not be on the street. So I've been at the bottom and I lost a lot, but I gained a lot. The action center brought me back to the top where I know I'm here for something and I'm not here just to be here, another body on the street. I always want the center to be here. I don't see the Action Center as being anything else but life because I don't know where I'll be without it. Because you're really a good little girl. You understand? And you keep being who you are. You understand? My name is Stephanie. I am an employee of the Action Center. My story started during Sandy. I lost my potential employment during Sandy. I was overwhelmed, I had children I needed to feed, keep warm, and I couldn't do that. We were here on the peninsula by ourselves, or so I thought. I started coming to the lines at the Action Center, and I saw hope. I can't even put into words what the Action Center means to me. It, there's no word big enough or grand enough to say that this place helped me save my life. No matter how much I tell the story, still overwhelms me. It was like a heavy, heavy blanket thrown over me. I couldn't see the light. I couldn't lift the weight off. And I felt overwhelmed. I don't know where I would be if the action center didn't see in me what I could not fathom. The very place that helped me remain employable employed me. So now I get to do my passion every single day and it's not work. And that feeling is overwhelmingly great. Every day that I come here, I come not just because it's my job, I come here because I know the greatness it did for me, and I want to be a part of that greatness to somebody else. I want somebody not to have a blanket thrown over them. I want to be a source of light, like the Action Center has been a source of light for me. I cheer 
I cheer for this place because it cheered for me. When you can see someone who was broken, who had lost their voice, who didn't know who they were and where to turn, when you can see that person go from being born to crawling, to standing, to walking, to running, and then turning around full circle and coming back and helping other people to crawl, to stand, to walk, to run. So we're all so powerful. We're powerful enough to move a mountain. We're powerful enough to say no to poverty. We're powerful enough to say no to despair. The potential to change the world is in us all. You know, we're really, we're one body working together. You walk out with a place that has given you hope. We are blessed. Very blessed. We are blessed today.